Hello and welcome back to my very, very, very hot craft room. I think you can see how hot and sweaty I am. It is 31 degrees outside today here. And it must be a trillion degrees in this room. It's the hottest place in the house. <laughs> There's so many things I was going to do today and I just can't. I've got one little project I'm going to I'm gonna um, have a go at. But oh, I can see how hot and sweaty I look. It's gross. Anyway, so I've been enjoying a, uh, these are very nice. Other non-alcoholic lagers are available. So this is a zero alcohol Moretti lager. Blimmin' lovely, really nice. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It's really nice and it's lovely on a hot day like this. And it's ironic that it's non-alcoholic because what I'm going to be doing is all about alcohol. Alcohol inks. Let me show you what I'm, I'm going to be up to. So a little while ago, Frisk sent me and, and uh, lots of my other art, arty friends here on YouTube and Instagram, I believe, um, sent, sent us out these little packages of their new black alcohol ink paper to try. Um, I love using alcohol inks. I've had some for a number of years and they sort of come and go in my repertoire, but they're always fun. Um, so yeah, when, when, they, when they said, would I like to try some? I said, yes, please, I'd love to try some. Now it's interesting that it says here, um, that they can be used with alcohol inks and watercolours. So I think I'm going to use half today with my alcohol inks and I'm going to save half to use with those. I'll try out those gorgeous metallic watercolours that Claire sent me. Um, so I'm going to see how many sheets there are in here and put half aside. Oh, it's lovely. So I'm, I'm kind of assuming it's going to be a little bit like Yupo paper. It's, it's very, the first thing that strikes me is that it's very matte. It's blacker in real life than it looks there on, on camera. So have I got one? Oh, it's quite a few sheets here. Two, nine, ten. That's, that's very generous for a little sample pack, isn't it? So I, I'll, I'll use five today. Um, and say five to try with other things. I'm, I'm assuming that you could also use markers on them. I think anything metallic would look stunning on this or white pen. I'd like to try some different white pens on here to see how, the, how they work. It's so beautifully smooth and densely black in real life. I've got a few different alcoholics to try here. Um, so there's these marabou ones, what's left of them, that we got in a scrawler box uh, one month last year um, so we've got the this white diamond sparkle so it's like a, a it's sort of a lustrous clear one and then the this blue and the and the pink um, and there's also an extender which I'm assuming I'm not really gonna sniff this see it's not just isopropyl alcohol is there's something else there's another smell in it like an acetone kind of smell or something in there so I'm not sure what that is made of but I think it just extends the time it takes for them to dry and I've got a whole bunch here of Adirondack alcohol inks um, when I was doing a lot of paper crafting and scrapbooking and stuff years ago I did build up quite a collection of these um, all sorts of different colours I probably need to limit myself to to, to I need to pick a colour theme here today um, because I haven't got enough to use all of these colours obviously one of those is actually um, a, uh, a one of the metallics, a silver metallic so it'd be interesting to try that and then just recently I bought, when I got these I ordered it because I wanted a white to try on, on the black, I got this piñata Jacquard piñata alcohol ink in a, in a white I've also got, I've got my trusty bottle of isopropyl alcohol, 99%, 99.8% actually, isopropyl alcohol, which I keep in all the time because it's useful for so many things. And it's really as cheap as chips to buy it like this. Decanted a little bit into this fine nozzle bottle. And then I've got a straw for blowing things around and I've got a dropper as well. So I'm just going to drop some on and see what they look like. Um, it'll be a fairly quick process especially in this heat have a bit of a play here speed through play a bit of music and stuff maybe um i don't think there'll be too much talking that needs to be done because it's going to be fairly obvious what i'm doing <laughs> i think one of the secrets to getting nice results with with these things is to add some of the you know plain alcohol or, or extender or whatever to get them flowing 
and uh, and sort of take your time with it. Definitely blow it around a bit. I would use um, a hairdryer or something, or or, or a well, a heat tool might be difficult with this paper because it's not really paper; it's more sort of plasticky, isn't it? But it's too hot to use either of those things today, so it's going to be lung power with this. And I should mention that because it's a hot day, of course, I am able to have my area well ventilated. Having said that, there's not a breath of a breeze anywhere. So if I find myself getting a bit lightheaded, I might have to stop. <laughs> OK, here we go. Let's seriously limit myself. Well, this could just get very messy. Let's go for it. I'm tempted to try the white first because I've, I've never actually tried a white alcohol ink. So. OK. So this one is the Jacquard Piñata. Hmm. Let's do that and let's do a little bit of uh, clear alcohol as well just to get it moving. Of course, it's drying so fast, it's nuts. Ooh. Hmm. But clearly, it does need the white or the metallic, really, to show it. It's not going to show the colours otherwise, really. And that's just set solid really fast so hopefully I can use the other side because I think that one is a little bit of a fail okay let's try another one this time I'm going to put some of the plain alcohol on first let's use these let's put some of the extender down first as this is such a hot day I'm taking the top off drop quite a bit of that on first because you can't see that at all on the back oh, oh that's very beautiful just running about a tiny bit of this white now just to make the others pop a little bit I'm not really happy, although the white should be making everything else show up. I'm just it's just but it's just setting solid the minute it hits the <laughs> paper. Let's try some of the silver instead. Oh that's interesting, it goes in and then just totally disappears. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Look, it's completely wrinkled on it. Interesting effect. Not what I was after. Feel like I should never have started this at the moment. Okay, I'm going to put a lot of this extender. Flow that across the page. Oh, it's just gone all over my hands. letting it slowly do its own thing instead of interfering too much this time. Now there's a big pink here that you can't see on the camera at all but it's looking quite bright here it's funny isn't it. Maybe I'll get a sort of galaxy thing going on. Get this weirdness happening now where that extender it's reacting strangely, so the Marabou extender is reacting reacting very strangely with the Adirondack metallic. Okay, well, hopefully I'm gradually learning by my uh, mistakes. I feel like I'm wasting a lot of this lovely paper at the moment. It won't come out now.
wasn't expecting that to happen. That's actually taken the coating off the paper. Can you see? And I'm not really sure why that's happened, unless it doesn't like this IPA. But if that's the case, we kind of need to know that. What's this really weird effect going on? And I was assuming it was a combination of the different inks and things that I'm using. I'm now wondering if it's the backing itself doesn't like one of the things I'm using because look it's actually coming off um, and I'm sure that's not meant to happen I'm sure it's completely user error but I'm starting to wish I'd never started this oh dear this isn't this is not going well I think to make any of the colours show you really kind of need something light and the white one isn't liking it very much so I'm really <laughs> neither is the metallic it's just going funny on there I'm gonna have one more go I'm gonna just use these um I think editing me will probably come back and say okay after a number of um fails and wasted bits of paper I've discovered that there's a really weird thing happening here which I thought was a combination of the inks and mixatives that I'm using. I thought it was just them reacting with each other, but actually it's taking the coating off the paper. Um, it's quite an interesting effect, but it's, it's not kind of what I wanted. Um, everything's drying up way too fast. This white ink just seems to set solid on it straight away. The ones I had the most success with was these Marabou inks with the, with the extender and this lovely sparkly one. I feel like I want something lighter to make them show up against this black. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna um, use this one more piece if I can get something that looks nice out of it, and then I'm gonna save the rest and try watercolor with it instead. And also, I'd like to try some of my different markers and things. I quite like the idea of because it's so lovely and smooth using a white pen on here. Seeing if I can do some white on black entangle so um i think i'm gonna try using this extender first because it is so hot today this hopefully will help them drying up help stop them from drying up quite so soon i'm gonna put some of that on first i'm gonna drop in some of this which was super beautiful and then let's go in with some of these colors I do feel like it's a little bit wasting it because you can't really see them <laughs> against the black. See, I'm doing it again. I said I wasn't going to do it again, but I'm going to. Now I'm getting that weird wrinkly thing going on again there. It seems to be affecting the surface. It's strange. It's looking like an eyeball now, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it doesn't like whatever is in the extender because it did smell kind of a bit acetone-y. But I mean, that is designed to be used with these alcohol inks, so I sort of assumed it would be all right. Yeah. I am getting that weird wrinkling thing going on. Oh, I haven't managed to produce one piece of anything that I like out of all of this. I normally have a lovely time with alcohol inks, blowing them all over the place and stuff. This just, yeah, I'm sure it's user error. Yeah, it's completely coming off now. Is it doing the same here where the IPA was? Yes. Yeah, it's not doing it normally, it's, but once that IPA has been on there, how peculiar I, I mean they these things are created to are, are meant to be used with alcohol inks and it's now weirdly not drying there it's just taking the surface I think what I'm gonna do is actually get hold of them and say what am I doing wrong well so far huge fail I'm sure it's user error if anybody's got any tips please do feel free to let me know. 
Look at this thing of it. I made a terrible mess. It stinks in here. It's boiling hot. I need to stop now. I'll probably just save this and um, come back and finish the film off when I, if I hear back from Frisk. If I don't, I'm just not even going to. I hate when someone you try something and you've got big hopes. You think this is going to be exciting and it's just like. Ugh. I'm not normally a klutz with alcoholics. I've used them a lot before. And I'm, I watched a couple of the uh, videos that other people on YouTube have done with this and, and they seem to be fine. I'm going to watch them again now as well. And I'm going to get hold of Frisk. Watch this space. I'll come back and let you know. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done anything. It's just too hot. Maybe it's just too hot. <laughs> OK, probably foolishly, I'm having one more go. did say I was going to use five sheets so <laughs> I'll try being a bit more generous with this time definitely doesn't move as quickly on here as it does on normal on, on new paper I was going to say normal normal new paper this isn't new paper is it um yeah I'm still getting that weird wrinkling thing going on and I'm not going to waste any more ink on that really not 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 if I'm honest there's no point in doing a review of something if you're not being honest not impressed I've, I have made nice pieces with with alcohol inks before um so it's not like I'm not used to using them just a bit gutted really that's the only thing I've done today and it's rubbish <laughs> hate when that happens okay I um, think we can we can say I gave it my best shot I'm gonna get hold of Frisk see if they come back to me see if they've got any suggestions for me um, I've used up five pieces of that trying to make it work what I'm gonna do is um, I think it'll be lovely with I just did a tiny experimental scribble with white pencil white pens and I want to try the watercolors with it but they advertise it. if you, they call it what, what is it called black alcohol ink paper so it must that must um, and look at the beautiful effects on there this is what I was hoping for and I don't see how you can get effects like that without using without blending with with the using the you know the alcohol or something to blend it with I mean it says it resists buckling and could be wiped clean if I wipe that now the, the bat that coating is going to come off so maybe I don't know maybe they can give me some useful suggestions watch this space Hopefully I'll be back in a second and say, it's okay, I was doing it all wrong. <laughs> Here's how I should have done it. <laughs> okay, I finally heard back from Frisk. Apparently, for some reason, my, my message had um, had been missed. They did apologise. They are usually very good, very quick at coming back to you about things. Annoyingly, I can't find the pe those pieces I already did that you will have just seen. I can't believe I would have thrown them away in disgust until... <laughs> I'd heard back and finished, you know, um, finished trying to, to work on, on this. Um, so maybe they'll still turn up. I'm still looking around now thinking that they're, they're staring me in the face somewhere. But um, yeah, I've had a good look and I, I can't find them anyway. Having said that, it's a bit of a shambles in this room. At least I've got the pictures of them and I've got the video. So what the people at Frisk are saying is that this is a very different kind of paper. I just need to kind of play with it a bit more and find different ways of working from it it's not going to work quite like you pair paper that I'm more used to I still I have to say I'm um, still so let me go let me go to the desk so I can show you I still very much doubt that you can get that effect on this paper with alcohol inks um, they said that other artists have said that using a less concentrated alcohol solution blend for the blending part helps so it's not to kind of damage the surface so I mean I could, <laughs> I could try watering down the IPA a bit but to be honest I've only got the five sheets left now and I'm reluctant to waste an awful lot more ink because I threw a lot at it already so I did say to them so um, can you recommend any other particular artists and they recommended this one artist who they say works with it every day and does all kinds of really um, vibrant pieces on it so I've had a look and he looks amazing. Having said that, there isn't, there's nothing like this. 
there's nothing like this. I personally, if I'm honest, I think this is a bit misleading, unless I'm totally misunderstanding. So I, I did. I kind of said to them, I can't find a way to get the effect you show on the packaging without using the blending solution I'm used to to using. And I, if anybody knows, if anybody's watching this, and anybody knows of any artists who've, who've managed to get this effect on this paper with alcohol inks. Um, and they've done any tutorials or anything or even just pictures with a bit of an explanation of what they've used and how they've done it please do please do let me know feel free to let me know in the comments um i know it, it's a different kind of thing and i need to get used to using it i'm not gonna I, i've only got these five small sheets left and i don't feel inclined for my experience so far to spend a lot of money buying a big buying a, a, a full size pad to be honest so this is going to be the end of my experiments and the other part of it was that I mentioned that the surface just kind of came off altogether although it does say it can be wiped clean they suggested that you can gently dab with a good quality kitchen paper but I mean and, and avoid rubbing but I wasn't rubbing was I I wasn't rubbing I barely touched it and it just came off on my on my finger I wasn't even trying to I sort of went like this and it phew, it came off so I, I wasn't scrubbing away with a cloth or something so um yeah let me show you I'm very impressed with this guy's art let me just show you this so uh Martin Rose illustration I'll give him a follow while I'm there so this this snowberries piece that he's doing here is all of, a lot of these pieces are on alcohol ink and you can see him working there actually the other the other one shows you how he starts off and he's he's he talks about the importance of building up layers so this is working in a very different way to, to what I was trying to do because I was going for trying to get the effect that is shown on the on the illustration that I have successfully done lots of times on Upo paper with alcohol inks so he's talking here about adding further base layers to the green aiming for a good blend between a couple of different shades of green he's used Jacquard products alcohol inks which is that white one that I was using and their cleanup solution and extender solution I had a look at those they're really expensive I can't afford to do it just for this one kind of experiment so I'm going to carry on using the extender solution I've got the marabou one and the IPA as, as the blending and hopefully I mean I don't know what the cleanup solution does you do see him using um, a cotton bud to wipe around some of the shapes in, in other projects let me just show you uh, and now you see him tipping something on there I think it's either the extending solution or the blender solution but he's not actually saying or is it something else and now he's going in with with white ink so what was that first layer I could ask him they did say he's a very nice guy and I could ask him and he'd probably let me know but I might just have a little experiment and here you can see him carrying on working he's obviously putting white there to work onto and then letting it dry and then adding another layer over the top Another interesting thing is that can you see here? I can't click on it to to enlarge it because as soon as I do that, I get it goes into a yeah, it goes into a thing where you can't really close up see what he's doing at all. So, um, but if you look here, if you look at the close up photos, it's that wrinkly effect that I was getting, which clearly obviously he's he's embracing that and making that texture an integral part of his artwork. And I suppose as long as you carefully let it dry, as well, that's why I was looking for the things that crappy ones that I made so I could show um once it was fully dry it doesn't then rub off or anything it's quite sort of um robust <laughs> um but you can see he's definitely embracing that and that these pictures you can see here are part of the, the piece he's working on there he's definitely building up layer and layer and layer and then actually encouraging that kind of wrinkling effect so yeah I suppose it's it's um I need to change my expectations and I need to change the way I'm working with it. In my defence though, that illustration on the front of the package definitely implies <laughs> to me that you can get this effect and, and, and use blending solution with it the same as you would on UPO paper. So I'm still confused about that and they haven't really answered my question about that, but um maybe they can't, maybe I just I just need to play. So you can see I'm I'm yeah they've sort of semi answered my question but not giving me the magical solution i was kind of hoping for probably because there isn't one so i've got some cotton swabs ready because i saw him using them with something probably the cleanup solution which i don't have and i couldn't work out from looking online what it is um it was ridiculous it was like it, what all i can find where where right from where i am anyway um it was like 12 pounds for a little bottle i don't want to you know and seven pounds for the 
extender um, or the other way around and I've already got not much of it left now because I used blooming loads of it last time um, a little bit left of this extender solution here the marabou one so I'm going to have one more blast with the alcohol inks and then I'm going to use the last couple of sheets I'll have left after that with some water-based supplies instead um, and a couple of other things I want to try so I've got these now I've used these once before and they were really disappointing on the paper I was using them on it, it, very uh colors were very dreary there wasn't much of a metallic effect and yeah very disappointing so i'm hoping maybe on this black paper they'll be lovely i've also got these gorgeous um csy art gallery paints these are ones that claire claire 96 bell sent me look at this beautiful so these are water-based lovely paints made with made with honey actually handmade honey watercolor they come from germany um, you can get them on Amazon so I want to try those and I also thought I'll see how I go with a white colour pencil and maybe some other colour I might try some different coloured pencils as well I don't know how well it I don't think you'll be able to layer pencils because it's probably too smooth but it'd be interesting to see and then I've also got these um, markers and I've got a one of my favourite Uniball Signo Broad Let's see if that works on there as well, just out of interest. So I'm going to try a different approach this time. Let's put this other one out of the way because we know that the coating doesn't like it if it gets too much alcohol on it, although it's alcohol ink paper. It's fantastic that it's coated both sides. You can actually, you know, you could, you could potentially use the other side as well. Anyway, so let's have a go. I've just brought out blues and greens and I've got this one kind of magenta colour in, in the marabou there um, and this is the really sparkly one so I'm just going to do something really simple just to just to try it out okay what should we do should we just do some leaves or something and a flower let's do a flower and some leaves yeah okay uh, oh well I have to say the satisfaction of drawing let's bring this down a little bit on this lovely smooth white paper with a white pencil is is amazing so this isn't gonna this is not going to be a work of art i'm just doing something just to experiment with it feels lovely on the paper it doesn't smudge at all the trouble is i've hardly got any of this extender left now i used so much of it last time Sorry if you can hear my husband sneezing. Maybe a couple of people on the other side of the city didn't quite catch that. So I'm going to see, because I wasn't sure if what he was doing was painting on the extender first. He was definitely painting on something first. That looked sort of clear. So let's... And that's just kind of straight away drying up almost instantly kind of into the paper but it's not wrinkling or anything so I thought maybe he was painting that on and that was staying wet and then he was kind of in effect doing like you do wet wet in wet with watercolor but that's already dried away and I didn't really want to go in with that color first did I I wanted to go in with the white first oh, well, I'm going to carry on now so that is painting the alcohol ink onto the extender would it have been any different if I'd painted it straight on a little bit let's try just put in the I think what he seemed to be doing was just squeezing the ink onto the brush let's try just brushing that straight on so this is doing like it did before it kind of dries almost the second it hits the paper and almost kind of seizes it's very strange so what he's saying is build up layers so it feels like once you've you kind of don't want to touch it too much once you put it down you've got to let it dry before you can touch it again so if I go back over this hmm. so what if I went over I suppose I drop a bit there now so this is picking up that pink that I'd put down before isn't it it's kind of reactivating itself I suppose I 
I'm not going to waste any more time or ink on that. I'm going to turn it over and have one more blast on this side. But I'm really, really losing patience with it now. <laughs> I think you'll agree I am really giving it my best shot. I'm just going to try freehand just one leaf here because let's not be over ambitious. This is the most fun I'm having so far with them. So what it seems to be doing is just spreading pretty much within where I've put the the previous layer. I can't even bother waiting for this to dry, but I just want to see how this would work over the top if I wanted to do it. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Frisk peeps. Very grateful for being given the opportunity to try this stuff out. But for me, with alcohol inks, no, I'm not enjoying it. I think you'll agree. I've given it my best shot and I've kind of run out of patience now. So, And I don't really want to waste any more inks because I will enjoy these on other surfaces I'm more used to. I'm sure it is just user error and if I persevered I could maybe get used to it but I don't think the rewards are worth the effort I'd have to put in. In case I mention later on where did I put <laughs> this failed example just remind me I put it in the bin there it is going in the bin now. Oh I hate when that happens I really do. Okay but we've got four more sheets and we've got these other things to try. Okay, I'm running out of time now. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just show you a few different supplies, how they work on the paper, and stop trying to create a work of art because I just feel a bit doomed. <laughs> and I've got so much else I want to be getting on with, so let's see how this works. I just thought it'd be interesting to see how a, an actual colour would... Um, would work the white works beautifully the pink is more it's more subtle but um, the paper's too smooth to get much in the way of layering I quite enjoy working light on light on dark but then that doesn't need to be this kind of paper to do that you know there are better papers for doing this just so it'd be interesting to see how it works it feels beautifully smooth really nice to use Oscars Prismacolor and um, Polychrome must seem to work nicely on there. Um, the Uniball Signo, which I usually I love to use with on black, um, didn't seem to like it very much. But the paint pens love it. Seems to be absolutely fine, and it seems to be fairly robust. And if I wanted to, I could probably use water and just water them out as well without any problem. A couple of what well, looks like a couple of strange effects in there but that's just because I've got a residual stuff in the brush I think. <laughs> okay so yeah I mean I could use it for those other materials and I could whoops and I could definitely use those these other supplies to to enhance stuff I've done with the with the alcohol inks. Um, the thing I'm holding out the most hope for is the watercolour paints on here. I know these paints are beautiful. If there's any problem, it's not these paints. Let's give them a good spritz actually. Get them activated. These metallic paints are just absolutely lush. Whoa, look at that. I'm just wondering if I can get similar to that um, that effect I was going for in the first place, but with water watercolour paints, not alcohol, because it doesn't seem to be having that same effect. So let's just try a few more of these colours a minute, and I'm, I'd love to. It would be fantastic if it would work with these. <laughs> this lovely metallic kind of rose colour. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, maybe this would be good for using these with. Look at that. 
twinkly gold those are fantastic and they do look lovely on there and i don't seem to be getting any of that weird lifting of the surface or wrinkling with the water just wondering how wet it will it will go before it does start to fall apart I think maybe I have managed to find the one thing that I can do <laughs> with this with this paper. It works really nicely with these watercolour paints. Fab. So how many sheets have I got left? <laughs> now I'm curious to see now if it's just water and not alcohol, will it wipe off as, as they say it will? not taking the paper the surface off at all okay I've got a little space there <laughs> I suppose I should give it um, to give it its best chance I should use the other side give it a fresh a fresh start let's try these paints now I think if they'd have told me that this was black coated synthetic paper especially for using metallic watercolors on <laughs> I'd have been delighted with it <laughs> One other thing I just wanted to try was can you do like a wet in wet effect where it's got all this pearliness from the water, from the paints now in the water but so imagine that's clear water can I then drop paint into it in a kind of wet in wet way and will it stick within that shape that I've painted Obviously the water colours are going to take a lot longer to dry than the alcohol inks. And this does give me advantage over doing this on normal, even if I use normal black watercolour paper, um, it's still going to absorb in a lot faster than it is on this. So this is giving me more time to move them around the page. I wish I had more sheets to play with now, or I wish I'd tried this earlier, because I, I would be enjoying this. But at least, hopefully, I'll end up with a couple of pieces that won't go in the bin. <laughs> I suppose nice spritz a bit more water over this. What happens? I'm even wondering if I can now wipe this off and use it again. Yeah, see, look, I can... She can be fairly, you know, rough with, with it, with just water. And it's behaving really well, look. Put the alcohol inks out of the way, forget about them. Let's concentrate on these. Okay, I have finished playing with those for now, I think. Um, I'm setting up for my little thumbnail here. Let's have a positive thumbnail. <laughs> I think if I'd, have, if I'd have been thinking of these in the first place as an amazing surface to use metallic watercolours on, I'd have been thrilled to bits I'd have used all 10 sheets experimenting with this and would probably 
have come up with some better results but as it is I'm really happy with it. I actually really enjoyed that last 20 minutes it's taken me doing these. Has been the best fun I've had with these papers all along and I actually would even consider buying them again to use for this. The ad huge advantage they've got over just using any other kind of black paper is that um, it gives you so long to manipulate the paints, add lots of water, let them mix together and really use them in much the same way as I would expect to use alcohol inks but with watercolours and um, these are going to take a really really long time to dry. I love how they look at the moment you can't quite see them because you get, you're getting just a shine off of hit off of here um, and, and here and here you're not seeing the full vibrancy of the colours because of that hopefully they'll dry up okay I'll take some pictures I might doodle over them I think they'll leave me with a nice smooth surface to doodle on hopefully but I think for the purposes of this video I've probably spent more than long enough so I'm going to finish this here but try and add some better photographs um, at the end of the video or if not they'll be in the discord and the facebook group and the instagram so you can see how they turned out and then I'll, I'll i'll have a bit of a doodle on them and see how that works as well thank goodness i've managed to end on a on a high with these and now i just wish i had a few more sheets to play with but <laughs> never mind i got there in the end so uh thanks very much for joining me i hope you didn't find that too frustrating to watch it was frustrating to do don't like giving up and I'm really pleased in the end I managed to find something that I was uh, that won't end up in the bin I'm gonna say my goodbyes now thank you very much for joining me I hope you found that in some way useful if you've got any tips or anything or people that I can go and watch to learn how to better use how I should have used those black paper please feel free to let me know in the comments thank you very much um, for joining me and uh, look at this and um, I will see you again really soon couple all those bits of videos together now. Oh.